we are going through a population decline, especially in the West. And why are we having a population decline? What are the reasons to why the population is in free fall? One of the first things to think about is fertility rates and the lowering testosterone rates. So obviously because of the microplastics in our food, the food that we eat, our day-to-day -day diets, testosterone levels are falling. Fertility rates are crashing. Why? Is it just the food that we're eating? Is it the extra additives, the fertilizers? What's the problem? When you have fertility rates and testosterone rates declining at a real alarming rate, there has to be an issue here. And again, when we start to think about society and think about what keeps us going, it's always the next generation. But if we're going to be crashing in our population and we're falling apart, what are the steps needed to basically boost our fertility rate again, to boost our testosterone? And nowadays, people are really delaying getting married and having kids and starting a family. But again, is that just an economic problem? Is that a cultural and societal problem? Me personally, I would love to have a family as young as possible. But again, can I afford it? Can I be able to do it? I don't think so. And why is that? It's harder and harder than ever in our generation, for example, Gen Z, to start a family, to get married and do all those things because of how expensive everything is. We can barely support ourselves, so how are we supposed to support a family? That's an intense responsibility that you have to have. So again, there's so many giant factors as to why population decline is increasing. Also, the hyper-individualistic society that we live in is so focused upon me, 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 and not about family. So everyone's kind of doing their own thing, their own grind, wanting to make their own bag and do whatever they want to with their own little sphere. Everyone is so selfish nowadays. And is it because of social media? Is it because of the society? Is it because of what everyone tells you in the media and the news? Hey, grind for yours, girl. Go get your bag, sis. Hey, dude, get that Bugatti. Like the culture itself is so selfish and it's not thinking about family. Yet family is the number one reason as to why people are happy in this life. Because again, at your funeral, you're not gonna have the money that you made in your life be there telling you good job. No, you're gonna have the family and friends and people around you, the relationships you built, they're gonna be there for you. They're gonna pray for you. They're gonna wish you well. That's the, the thing that you have to think about. The culture, the society that we're living in is not conducive to the spirituality and the realm of life that we're supposed to be living within. Also nowadays, people are living longer. So because people are living longer, they tend to think like, oh, like we'll just have kids later and later and later, or because we have to take care of our grandparents. Oh, these people are alive, so it's okay, we have family. But again, the new generation is the point. The new generation we have to worry about. And again, with the new generation that's coming up, they're gonna be coming up at a really daunting and scary time with technology. And the people who are running them, the parents, aren't doing the best job of even having children. And even when they are, they're not really taking care of them. They're giving them iPads and distracting them because they're so busy in their hyper-individualistic life. And when we have one or two kids, top. This is a scary statistic, but again, we're not having kids like we used to. Obviously, economically, it's happening. It's tough. It's really hard to afford it. And with urbanization of our society, even more so, it's not conducive to having a big, giant family. Not everyone has a farm and has seven, eight kids anymore, right? Now we live these fast life in, your, in little cities where we don't have, even have the space to have a big family anymore. But again, this is gonna have detrimental effects in the future where our social systems can crash, our labor market can crash. But again, if AI is on the rise, do we really need a labor market for people with, who are unskilled? So this is, again, something else to think about. And it's where, are we having less kids because we don't even need them? But again, you need kids, you need the next generation, you need the future because how else are things gonna change? How else are things gonna evolve? How else are we gonna keep our lineage going? How else is the human race gonna stay alive? Personally, the only way to realistically have population decline rise in the West is to fix the societal values, the morals, the goals, pushing marriage and actually making it affordable for people to marry and have kids and live in a single family home. But it is impossible to do those things because you see in other countries that the population is increasing. All throughout Africa, the population is increasing. People are having kids. People are, are genuinely doing it because it's not as tough to societally to have kids there. There's a sense of community. There's a sense of building. There's the sense of it takes a village, right? In America, everything is so hyper-individualistic. So people are having less kids because you can't raise a kid by yourself. You need a family, you need a team. It's hard to do so. Even people who are single moms and single dads who talk to me about this and explain this, they always say it takes a village. It takes people around them. It is very hard to do everything by yourself because you can't do everything by yourself. So listen, if you have the ability to have kids, if you have the ability to have more kids and you're able to afford it and or 
you want to have kids, just again, try as much as you can to keep our future generations going and increasing the amount of kids in this world. Because again, kids are the future and making sure that we raise them properly and getting them the best type of success that they can have. Thank you guys again for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. And I'll probably dive into this a different way as well. But again, population decline is intense. It's a lot to unpack, but we need to figure out how to actually increase the livelihoods of people so we can actually have kids and afford to have kids and afford to be families. And remember, get back to the community. Understand that it takes a village and it takes people in your circle to get to the next level of success with a family. Thank you guys again for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I'm curious to know what you guys think about this topic as well. Be sure to like, follow, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next.